Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Tamiya's World War I British Tank Mark IV male. And this is a 135th scale. This is one of uh, Tamiya's more unusual kits that it includes a motor, a little electric motor for you guys to play with. So this is going to be an exciting kit for me to build. And so let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look at this box. We have the decal. The sides of the tank. Sponsons. Wheels. lower hull and upper hull gears tracks the motor background information and the instruction sheet. I want to talk to you about the heart of the model kit. What you're looking at right now is the gearbox and the motor. And this drives the model for it to, to move around. And also, the kit has included grease, the drive shaft, and an additional gear. Assembling these parts together should not be a problem.
I want to talk to you about how to um, make a muffler look all rusted. So this is the muffler that came from the kit. And what I want to do with it is to actually make it look all rusty. And to do that, it's a fairly simple process. What I have right here is a bottle of paint. And what I have in this little container is baking soda. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the entire muffler and exhaust pipe with this paint and this paint would act like a glue and then what I do next is to actually sprinkle the baking soda on the pipe and on the muffler and that would create a texture of rust and that's exactly what I want It's time to build tracks. So building tracks for this model kit is easy and straightforward. All you have to do is simply snap the two links together like this to form one single track. It's that easy. Okay, so we built the model kit and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the completed model kit before painting weathering and Tamiya has made a good model kit for the consumer. I like the rivet details on this model kit, they're very pronounced and it does look like the real Mark IV tank from World War I. Now the engineers at Tamiya really has outdone themselves to make this model kit also a working toy um, for for you to play with. The metal sprockets right here in front and also in the back are very impressive along with the supplied motor and transmission. The road wheels were tedious to make but the tracks that I'm pointing at they were easy to to assemble which is a big plus. And also a big plus is the supplied grease right here that I'm pointing at and for and the supplied screwdriver. That being said, I don't think that this kit was really meant for the absolute beginner. It was more meant for the intermediate and for the advanced modeler to build. And if you're an absolute beginner who never built a model kit before, I would not recommend this because this is too tedious for anyone to build who has no skill at building model kits at all. However, if you're a beginner that has a few kits under your belt that you've made already and feel comfortable with, then go ahead and try this model kit. It's not that bad. It's a good model kit and it's, it's good. I like it. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use my airbrush and start painting the kit. I just finished applying the decal and before I go on to the next step I want to explain to you about the colors that I used to paint this model kit. When you look at this model kit it looks like it's simply one single color, brown, but in reality there are four different colors. When a light shines on an object it creates highlights and shadows and so I try to imitate that onto this model kit. 
What I'm pointing at right now are the actual colors that you use to paint this model. This is the base color, the highlight, the bright highlight, and the shadow. And I use all these four colors to paint this model to make it look as it is right now. It looks like one color, but in reality, they're four colors. And it's an optical illusion. I'm going to do some pin washing. I'm going to create a rusty roof. I'm going to use an artist oil color called Burnt Sienna. And with a little sponge at the end of a pair of tweezers, I'm going to dab that color onto the roof to give it a rusty appearance. I just finished adding the rust streaks and I want to show you how I did that. Making rust streaks is really not that hard. All you have to do, at least how I did it, is to use a artist oil color called Burnt Sienna. With a fine brush I dabbed that onto a rivet and then carefully streaked it down. After that I used a moistened brush and I carefully blended that onto the surrounding model to make it look realistic. I just applied the mud effects and I want to explain how I did this. I first applied the plastic putty onto the bottom of the chassis to give it the, the rough texture. Then I painted the putty with brown and after it dried I applied a brown wash. All right, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting and weathering, and I've done a nice job doing the painting and weathering of this model kit. I like the rust streaks and the pin washing I've done for every single um, bolt and rivet really makes this model kit stand out. It does look very convincing, at least to me. So this is a good model kit and I think um, many model kit builders would enjoy building this model kit. It's just good. I like it. That completes this model project. What you're about to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. So I hope this um, video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. I'm QDC and thanks for watching.
you didn't think that I was going to end this video without you seeing this model tank running around not being motorized, did you? <laughs>